And welcome back to Chaos to Clarity. I'm meteorologist Bernie Reno. A lot of change since we last did this. It was last Friday. We we're talking about this trough coming south and east into the northeast. And we remember the, uh, the uh, American model had a huge snowstorm. The European didn't really have it. But I say, if, yeah, if you could read through the models, you saw that there was a chance. Looks like a lot of the storm is going to be offshore, but I am concerned about a little period of snow from New York City in the eastern New England. I'll, I'll, I'll show you that here in a second, but I, I do want to take you to what we were looking at on Friday. This is not exactly the way I thought it would be painting out from last Friday, but let me, um, let me show you where we're at here as we move forward. So this is the trough. This is the system coming into the northwest here today. You can see it. It's this energy. It's going to dive southeast, and it's going to get some cold air. So that was right, I think, for the most part, that we would have this digging trough. Here it is. There's your first system. We talked about how there might be a little snow from the Appalachians to the northeast. Nah, it's only going to be a little snow across the interior sections of the northeast. We didn't think there'd be much snow with this, but the next storm was the one to watch. And you can see our trough digging south. Here it is, digging south, but there's just it's not digging enough. You know, if you would get this system to dig a little more, like down into here, then you would get that storm to form closer to the coast. It would come up, and then you'd be talking about something, but you just don't have enough room here. You can see how this trough just comes south, offshore. Now, you have some mischief and mayhem perhaps Friday night. I'll talk about that in a second. But you can see most of the energy, and here it is, is going offshore, and it's going to be driven out to sea. It's a pretty strong system, though, coming across the Midwest. Let's go back to that. As we get into, you can see this, across the Dakotas Thursday and then into the Mid-Atlantic on Friday. And you can see a pretty good clipper here. First one we've really had coming across the Midwest. This is going to produce some snow across the Midwest. Let me, let me show you what this is going to do um, across the, uh, across the uh, Midwest uh, moving forward here. Let me see if I can get that map. All right, let's go up to it. This is what we're looking at here. I mean, this is going to be a decent amount of snow. 6 to 12 in Fargo, Minneapolis 3 to 6, Green Bay 3 to 6. This is mostly going to be Thursday and Thursday night. Then Thursday night into Friday across uh, 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 Detroit can get an inch or two. Buffalo can get an inch or two. Watch Thursday night, Friday morning in this area from Chicago towards South Bend. There could be a little lake enhancement. But right now, we think the accumulating snow mostly north of Chicago. But this will be a decent snow from Minneapolis toward Green Bay. All right, let me go back then to what we're looking at. I've, I've been tweeting this all day on X. If you're a follower on X, you notice that I'm a little concerned about Friday night, uh, Friday night, late Friday into Friday night across parts of the uh, Northeast here. Let me show you why uh, I'm a little concerned about this area from uh, New York City toward uh, Eastern New England. I want to show you, I'll take show the America model here. Now, I, I want to stress, there's no modeling that shows what I'm about to show you that I'm concerned about, but I've seen this happen before that the modeling underdoes the backside of this coastal storm because of what's going on in the atmosphere. And let me show you what I mean here coming up here. Let me take you at full screen. So here's what I'm talking about. Let's go to Friday afternoon and, 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 and notice, well, let me, let me show you the surface map. You can see we have a storm well offshore. You see this? As we get in the Friday afternoon, Friday night, here's the storm. It's way out here. That you think, oh, the storm's long gone. Not much is going on. Now, there's going to be a lot of snow showers because of a digging trough. But what I'm concerned about is this. You look at these isobars here. These are lines of constant pressure. And what's going on here is you've got this northeasterly flow. And as I, as I go back a second, you're getting a little injection of cold air behind the storm. You see that? these thickness lines coming on down. So you've got this northern flow here, Friday night, right in here. Friday night, you see how you have a northerly flow? And it's also what I call cyclonically curved. The isobars are curving like this. So you get this large scale upward motion, it's weak. And when you look at the 500 millibar during this time, 
Let's go back around Friday night right here. What do you have going on? Well, again, you have this cyclonically curved um, motion here. The winds are out of the north here. Colder air is draining in behind our coastal storm. But notice what's going on in the upper part of the atmosphere right here. You've got this trough axis in here. And you have this ribbon of energy, west-southwest flow. You see that? But at the surface, the winds are coming in out of the east-northeast. So let me go back. Surface, north-northeast winds. You see it in here? Winds coming in out of the northeast. But aloft, you have west-southwest winds. And what I'm concerned about could be happening here is that you have a little bit of back snow on the back side of this. This is the um, this is the American model right now, and you'll notice there's not a lot. You don't see a lot on the modeling here. You have some, but you can clearly see that you have these winds coming out of the north northeast. You have a little injection of colder air coming in behind the storm. Right, winds are out of the east northeast. Here's your lines, and at the same time, at 500 millibar, you have this trough swinging through, with this. 500 millibar flow, 30, 35 knots. And, and even if you look on another model, this is the Europe, this is the UK MET model, it's a European model. You see the same thing here at the surface. There it is Friday night, right in here. You have this surface went out of the east, northeast. You've got this trough swinging in. Now the trough's a little stronger, and you'll notice the UK MET has a little bit of green in here. What I think you've got to keep an eye on is for a period of snow in this area, right in here. I put Long Island in it as well. That you can get a little period of snow with this Friday night, late Friday into Friday night, New York City, Southern Hudson Valley, Northern New Jersey. And maybe it's not Hartford. Maybe it's maybe it's a little narrower. It's like this. Boston, Providence. In here, Cape and Islands, it would be rain anyway, but it's like this. You get a little period of snow. Can you get a coating to an inch or two in here? Can you get an inch or two? Let's keep an eye on that as we get into Friday night. Late Friday into Friday night in that area. And again, you could see why. Again, you've, you've got this, you've got this northeasterly flow. You have a cold air advection coming in, but aloft, you have winds coming in out of the west, southwest aloft. You can see it right here. So I turn off my pen. I've seen this before. And look at, there ought to be upward motion in this area. And you have some overrunning. I, and again, I've seen this happen before, that on the back side of these storms, it, it's not so much that the storm is closer to the coast, but you get a bigger precipitation shield like this, you know? And, and, and I think you've got to worry about that. I've seen the models miss this. In, you know, in, in my career here, which spans about 35 years now. So let's keep an eye on that. One other thing I want to focus on is Christmas Eve and Christmas Day across the Northeast. Let me show you why. And um, I have the European up here. And let, let's begin Tuesday morning. And I want to show you this. So what's going on here? You've got this cold air. You've got this big high. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. You've got this big high pressure system here. You have a cold, dry air mass in place. This is Christmas Eve in the morning. And you'll notice you've, you've got some pieces of energy here coming in out of the west-southwest again. So you've got an area of high pressure here. You have some warm advection. Now, the models aren't really printing out much. You can see there's not much with this. But even on Christmas Day, you have the same setup. You've got an area of high pressure funneling this cold air down, and you've got another piece of energy coming in from the west-southwest. You see that? It's not much. It's not much, but it's right in here. So what you do is you bring a little overrunning in. You have cold air at the surface. You have winds coming in out of the west-southwest aloft, and you get a little snow. Now, the European doesn't have anything, but it's hinting at it. A little bit Christmas Eve and a little bit Christmas Day. And the area to watch for would be Pennsylvania and New York State in here, even New York City. Now, when you go to the American model, it's, it's a little more bullish on it. This is the American model. Again, watch what it does. Something Christmas Eve and the Christmas Day. You see all that precipitation? 
Now, it suggests it would be cold enough that it would be snow going over the rain in New York City, but you've got something going on. Christmas Eve and the Christmas morning across New York State and Pennsylvania. Now, you get Pennsylvania Turnpike on south in the mid-Atlantic, it would mostly be a chilly rain, but I'd keep an eye on that. That could be interesting. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day across Pennsylvania and New York State. So again, nothing huge, nothing huge, but, you know, you've got some potential with this thing, you know, as I mentioned on Friday. And then, you know, you've got, you've got a pretty big trough coming into the Northeast Saturday that there's going to be a lot of snow showers here. So it's going to be a windy and cold weekend in the Northeast. And then that sets us up for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. It would be what I call mood snow. You get an inch or two, it makes for a, a, a white Christmas across uh, central and uh, parts of Pennsylvania, New York State, even Philadelphia, even New York City. I wouldn't be shocked if it, there was a little snow Christmas Day. It probably wouldn't accumulate, would go over the rain. But let's keep an eye on that storm. That could be interesting. All right. If you have any questions, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, we're F X, formerly known as Twitter. I'm at Accurano. I hope you have yourself a great, great week, and we'll keep an eye on this for you.